Hi, I'm Lauren from the Pikes Peak Library District. So it's Women's History Month. Uh, so today I wanted to share six awesome nonfiction books um, in case you wanted to learn some more about some incredible women uh, throughout history and today. So the first book I wanted to share with you is called um, She Came to Slay, The Life and Times of Harriet Tubman by Erica Armstrong Dunbar, and she's actually a professor of history at Rutgers University. Um, and this book is really cool, I would say it's more for high school, um, because it tells the story of Harriet Tub Tubman's life all the way from you know her early childhood and reconstructing what we can find out about about that all the way up through the end of her life. Um, and of course, everyone knows that Harriet Tubman was a conductor on the Underground Railroad, but this book has so much information on other parts of her life that I just knew nothing about. So it really goes into her time as a spy for the Union and leading a raid during the Civil War. Um, she was really involved in the fight for women's suffrage. Um, there's a bunch of just excellent information on her that I just didn't learn at school and didn't know about. And it has these really awesome you know, historical pictures of her and excerpts of her writing. Um, you know, you really hear about her in her own words in this. Uh, and you can really tell that the author is invested in this and has a lot of respect for Tubman um, and really wants to share these lesser known parts of her story. So highly recommend this one, She Came to Slay, um, if you want to learn more about Harriet Tubman. And you can probably tell from the title um, that it is not dry, it's really engaging and um, uh, not funny, but uh, you know, fast, fast paced, I would say, and really digs into these parts of her life. So highly recommend this one. And then if you're looking for one that's less about one specific figure and more just a bunch of awesome people, um, I love this. It's actually a graphic novel. It's called Brazen Rebel Ladies Who Rock the World, and it's by a French comic book artist, um, Penelope Bagu. And it has these really bright, colorful illustrations. This one is funny. It's like a lot of comedy in it. Um, but it, what I love about it is that it talks about women from all around the world and all throughout history. So you'll have like modern day astronauts, but you'll also have like a 16th century queen of what would become Angola, right? So she's really doing um, the full range of history here. And it's just beautiful, beautiful illustrations as she's um, writing about these women. So highly recommended. This was actually written for adults, but I think teens would love it too, um, and probably more high school age. Um, but I just blazed through this. It looks pretty thick, but it, you can read it really fast because again, comic book. Uh, so highly recommend this one. And that was Brazen Rebel Ladies Who Rock the World. And then one that's a little bit different is um, Bloodwater Paint. So this is actually a novel in verse, meaning it's written entirely in poetry, um, and it's actually written from the perspective of a historical figure, um, a Renaissance painter named Artemisia Gentileschi. Um, and it tells the story, um, as if it were in her own words, right, of her early life, um, how she became an artist, um, her dad took credit for a lot of her paintings, um, and then of course it leads up to probably the most famous event in her life, which was this um, rape trial that she was involved in as she was trying to get justice for, for a crime that was committed against her. Um, but it really was just it's gorgeous poetry and it really pulled me into her life and it made me look up her actual paintings and try to learn a little bit more about this um, real area, uh, real figure from the Renaissance. Uh, and that's not, you don't really hear a lot about female artists from that time, right? Um, so it was just some really excellent art history in here and just a moving story of, of you know, this woman living in her, in her truth and finding her artistic path. So highly recommend this one, Bloodwater Paint. Definitely aimed more for older teens. Um, it's a very heavy subject matter, as you can tell, um, but it's just a wonderful book. And that's by um, Patricia McCullough, or Joy McCullough, excuse me, uh, Bloodwater Paint. And then I felt I had to recommend this one, so um, sadly Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away a few months ago. Um, so this book, The Notorious RBG, is uh, just an excellent tribute to her life and to her work. Um, so there's an adult version of this book. The one I'm holding is um, aimed more for middle school, kind of 12 to 14 age range. You can read either one, it's the same content, um, just written um, in a slightly different way. But as you can probably tell from the cover, um, this one is not super dark, right? It's, uh, it has 
a timeline of her life and it discusses some of her major accomplishments and her involvement in women's rights. Um, but it also, you know, is filled with memes and jokes and pictures of, you know, babies dressed up as Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So it's just a really um, funny and engaging and fast read um, about a really important figure in recent history. Um, so I loved this one, highly recommended. It was written by um, Aaron Carmen and Shana Kisnick. Um, and it has a really helpful glossary at the back actually that explains a lot of the legalese that's used in this um, and kind of breaks down some of the terms in a way that because reading Supreme Court cases is obviously not fun or engaging reading and this really breaks it down in a way that's easy to understand and highlights a lot of a lot of the work that she did. So definitely recommend that, the Notorious RBG. And then a lot of the ones that I was just showing are kind of thicker books, so I wanted to do one that's a quick read that has some awesome um, information in it. So this one is called 25 Women Who Thought of It First, and it was written by Jill Sherman. Um, and she actually has a lot of different books in this series, so this one profiles women in STEM. Um, but she has ones on, you know, women who are activists, women who are political leaders, um, women in sports. So this one I really love because it just gives these quick profiles. They're really only a couple pages long, um, introducing you to some figures. And some of them were people I'd heard of, some of them were people I had never in my life heard of. Um, so I didn't know who invented Kevlar before I read this. Um, and I love that she pulls from a bunch of different fields, right? So you're learning about inventors, you're learning about architects, you're learning about engineers. Um, and it's a really awesome quick read um, that kind of gives you a quick overview um, to some important women in this area. So definitely recommend that, 25 Women Who Thought of It First, and if you like it, like I said, she has a bunch of other ones like this. Um, and some excellent sources at the end that give you a full bibliography. If you read about any of these ladies and you want to hear more about them, she's got you covered. She's got a bunch of other books and sources you can check out if you want to dig more into their accomplishments. Uh, so really interesting stuff in there, and also kind of some interesting stuff about recent achievements in science that I just didn't know that much about personally, but that she highlights here when she's talking about their discoveries. And this last one I don't have the physical book on me because it was checked out, sadly. Um, but if you, I wanted to do one that's a book written in a woman's own words, right? Because all of these have been biographies so far. Um, so if you haven't read I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai, it's an amazing autobiography. Um, and Malala was a girl who um, fought for a girl's right to an education in Pakistan. Um, and as a result of her activism, she was actually shot in the head by the Taliban. Uh, but she survived and she's continued working um, towards that goal. And it's just a really incredible, inspiring story of what one person can accomplish, right? And she's actually written another book since then that I would also recommend. It's called We Are Displaced. And so it tells her own story again, but it also shares the story of other girls throughout the world who have been, um, who had to become refugees. Um, so that's just a really interesting insight into, into her own accomplishments and into the lives of some other women. So again, I Am Malala and We Are Displaced, two excellent books if you'd like to hear more um, uh, about these really important modern figures too. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about these. These are just, of course, um, six books and we have a bunch of other ones, um, but I hope you found at least one that you're interested in reading today. And if you look down in the description, um, I actually have links to the catalog uh, and you can click on them and it'll take you straight to the book and you can put it on hold or you can check it out. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful Women's History Month and an excellent day.